I don't think you were paying attention to what happened at Davos. Let's see if this rings any bells. Pagan rituals, digital ID to track your entire life, global tax for social media to yield to government censorship. We're gonna cover that over the next six episodes. I think you're gonna enjoy this. All right, let's get into it. Do -do -do. I'm a prepper, you're a prepper, she's a prepper, he's a prepper. Wouldn't you like to be a prepper to be a prepper? Be local prepper, this song is dumb. Yeah. And pushbacks, pushbacks. Believe it or not, during Davos, um, there were, um, you know, let me let me start this right. Uh, believe it or not, during Davos, there were actually pushbacks. There were there were people that showed up and said, you're the problem. They actually said, the direction you're going is absolutely wrong. There were several people that showed up. I believe it's the new president of Argentina. Uh, there was uh, several uh, leading uh, businessmen in the U.S. economic area that told them, stop this now. This is not going to work. So let's go ahead and get into it. Where are we at here? Despite many bad ideas pervading this and every World Economic Forum, the years this year's Davos conference featured notes of dissent, which I don't think we've ever seen before. Perhaps I, in the reality of a Donald Trump president presidency, WEF invited some bona fide conservatives to speak, cramming them mostly onto the same panel on thirty Thursday. So we got the Heritage Foundation. President Kevin Roberts boldly confronted World Economic Forum attendees with a harsh reality. Quote, you are part of the problem. WF attendees spout misinformation on such issues as illegal immigration, liberal uh, cities, crime spree, climate change, WHO global advocacy of extreme gender identity or ideology, and the threat posed by the public, the People's Republic of China. China, the number one adversary, not just to the United States, but to free people on planet Earth. Not only do we have do we at Davos not say that, we give the Chinese Communist Party a platform, Robert said. Wow. Have you signed up for Prep Stock 2024? If not, what? Don't be a knucklehead. Check this out. It's really easy. It's on the internet, guys. It's on the internet. Look, there's a button right there. All you do is you push it and you get to find out what Prep Stock 2024 is about. Don't get left out. Talk to you later. He pretty he crushed him. He crushed him. Let's let's talk about see what let's see what the next guy said. What what did the next guy say? President of Argentina, Javier Mili. Uh, Mili? I'm, I'm so, hopefully I'm saying that right. Delivered a bold address denouncing government interference in the marketplace. Such policies, whether described as fascism, socialism, social democracy, or command and control economics broadly, inevitably destroy wealth, which enrich the tiny elite who preside over the state. Sky News Australia compared his scant anti-socialist critique to Rick, Ricky Gervais's speech at the Golden Globes in the 2020. Uh, Mealy wants to make Argentina a place that is free from globalists, free from their anti-human agenda. Larry Tanton, who attended WF 2024, told Washington Watch with Tony Perkins last Thursday. Wow, he, he, he wrecked him. He wrecked him, which is awesome. Um, and then the last one they're showing here is the president of Hungary, uh, Caitlin Novak. Pushed back against the WF's advocacy for prolonging Ukraine war in Russia. Quote, we have to avoid a third world war, she said, including not getting military involved in the war between Russia and Ukraine and avoiding the escalation of the war. Roberts said it best. The next president should see to it that every single member of the administration needs to compile a list of everything that has ever been proposed at the World Economic Forum and object to all of them wholesale. Wow. That's uh that's uh that, those are those are pretty strong remarks. Pretty strong remarks. And you can see where the economic forum is just out of control. If you like what I'm doing, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. That's free. If you got a few pennies you want to throw at me, there's some links below. Go ahead and check those out. Support the channel. And anything you do is appreciated. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.